South Korean President uh, Yoon Yok Sol Yol Yoon Suk Yol, I beg your pardon, has pardoned Samsung Air Lee Jae Yong as the economy faces numerous headwinds. This would also speed up Lee's return to the biggest family control table and the biggest uh, world chip maker. The decision, however, raising questions as to whether laws apply equally to the country's business leaders. Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman and former leader J.Y. Lee, who was once jailed for bribery, was pardoned by South Korea's President Yoon Suk Yol on Friday. The act, however, was largely symbolic. Lee is already out on parole, released last year after serving 18 months in jail. But South Korea's justice minister said the move was weighed against more pressing issues. South Korea is grappling with inflation, and there are signs it's struggling with weak demand and a spending slowdown. It's also heavily dependent on tech and exports, and Samsung is by far the biggest of the country's conglomerates, as well as the biggest maker of smartphones and memory chips in the world. Analysts believe the presidential pardon could grant Lee more freedom to conduct business and may mean big M&A moves are around the corner. Others warn that legal risks still persist as Lee still faces charges of fraud and stock manipulation in another ongoing trial. Lee, who is a descendant of Samsung's founding family, welcomed the decision and vowed to work hard for the national economy. Lee had already returned to the limelight long before his pardon. Last November, Samsung decided on Taylor, Texas as the site of a new $17 billion chip plant, while in May, Lee appeared alongside President Yoon and U.S. President Joe Biden on a visit to Samsung's chip production facilities. And Samsung shares rose as analysts made bold forecasts on what the conglomerate would invest in with Lee back at the helm. Their gains trimmed to half a percent at the close. The Samsung Electronics vice chairman wasn't the only person South Korea's president offered a reprieve to. Lotte Group chairman Shin Dong-jin also has been part granted a special pardon. He was sentenced to a suspended two-and-a-half-year prison term in 2018 in a bribery case that was also related to former president Park Geun-hae. Two other top business leaders have been pardoned too. Now, South Korean presidents usually grant special pardons in commemoration of national holidays. These latest ones continue the country's long tradition of freeing business leaders convicted of corruption on economic grounds. But some analysts say that pardons simply allow major businessmen to feel they don't have to follow the same legal norms as the rest of society. President Yoon pardoned nearly 1,700 people, including prisoners with terminal illnesses and those near their end of sentences.